हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड हियर इन द लास्ट प्लेलिस्ट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ इसकॉम सो नाउ वी विल लर्न सम बेसिक थिंग ऑफ इसकॉम आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ प्लेलिस्ट दैट इज फॉर बिगनर्स ओनली एंड वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर okay so in our installation this is the architecture diagram so we have scom dc1 sql server and one scom server and we have a domain smartlab.in and we have two client machine right now we don't have server right now we have just client machine so currently we will work with the client machine only okay okay so let's jump to the scom server and learn first of all how we can install an agent on any machine or how we can discover the machine that is in our environment okay so just open your operation console this is the console over here okay go to the administration tab and then right click anywhere in the left and you will see discovery wizard okay so click on discovery wizard it will show you windows server unix server as well as network devices so first of all we will learn about the windows computers okay so just select it and then click on next so here advanced discovery and then automatic computer discovery automatic computer discovery is going to discover the client machine or server machine that is in our environment okay and advanced discovery is you know we can just specify like we want server and clients or we want server only or client only okay so let's try with the server only if we try with the server only and hit next and then the scan active directory okay so it will scan our active directory or we can manually specify from the browser also okay but uh, i want to show you the function of uh, uh, this server only and what is the difference between client only and server only so first take server only and if we click on next and choose this is scan active directory and click on configure okay and click okay so it is going to uh, search all the server in our directory okay so just click on next use the default option so by default it is using management server action account that i have already told in the last videos so here you can see we have two servers com dc1 and sql server okay you cannot see the client machine but we have a client machine present over here and that is running cl1 and cl2 but still you can see it is not searching the client because we have chosen server only okay so it give us the flexibility to choose what to what we want so if we select right now and the clients only and click on next next then discover now it will show only the client machine so now you can see so what we will do uh, we will install our client uh, agent on cl1 remotely and we will install agent on cl2 using the dot exe that we get from the iso okay so just click on the machine checkbox and we are going to manage with the agent so select agent 
we use agent list on the mostly on the div network devices so just click on next and then this is the agent installation directory so if there is any issue with the agent then we have to go to this directory and we can check the logs and other things okay click on finish it is going to start so task has been started it will took about 10 to 15 minutes to complete so if we go to cl1 machine and go to the control panel and if you check for the program and features you will not find anything okay but after installation you will see one agent uh, that is of scom agent so if you go to the task manager over there you can see some processes that is running so i think this is the service just let me check this desktop so i think it will take some time to reflect you know once it is started you can see the dot exe is running over here so i think it is not frozen right now we will come back to it too once again okay just wait So I'm going to skip the okay now you can see right system center is there so the task completed successfully so we have installed uh, the agent remotely on CL1 okay now what we will do we are going to log into CL2. Okay, so we are on CL2. And what we will do, we'll just check in the control panel. So there is no any agent installed on CL2. Okay, so what we are going to do is let me check this. Okay, I think the ISO is com ISO is already ins uh, inserted in CL2. So just let me verify it. Let's go to this to settings. Okay, no, it's a Windows 7 Ultimate. So what we are going to do, we are going to change the disk. So we are going to use this system center to 2012 operation okay click on ok and then if we go over here so if we just double click on the ISO so you can see over here this is written local agent okay so we have to just click on the local agent and it is going to install the system operation manager so let's open the control panel and we will see there is nothing but once after installation you will see the system operation uh, sorry system center operation agent so in the production actually they have their packages they install the package so you don't have to worry about that 
जस्ट क्लिक 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 मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप ने सो द मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप इज इज कॉम आईफन टेस्ट सो मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप नेम इज यू कैन सी ऑन द टॉप इज कॉम हाइफन टेस्ट दैट इज द ग्रुप नेम एंड द मैनेजमेंट सर्वर इज इज कॉम सर्वर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट सो द एजेंट अकाउंट एनेबल द एजेंट टू गैदर ऑपरेशन data from providers and run so it should be a local system by default click next click on next install so it will once again it is going to take about 5 to 10 minutes so i am going to skip the video and i will come back once it is done okay so system center and operation manager agent installation has been completed so now click on finish and if i refresh okay close this one so you can see now system center operation manager and agent is installed so it is a manual and inst installation okay so once it is installed if you go to your operation console or if you go to agent managed if you refresh you can see only windows cl1 right so we have already installed the agent on cl2 also but it is not showing so where it is so if you go to pending management and then refresh you will see that over here so actually whenever you will install any agent manually on any server or any client so it will show under pending management and we have to approve it you have to approve it okay so if you want to automatically approve that uh, manually installed agent then you can you have to go to the setting over here at the bottom in the setting if you go to security you can see to increase security specify that manual agent installer are rejected reject new manual agent installation okay so this is the problem so when we have installed the, the agent it is automatically reject new manual agent installation okay so we have to click over here review new manual agent installation in pending management view and if you want to automatically install so automatically approve that new manually installed agent you have to check box this but uh, for security reason we just uncheck this one and click apply okay so if now if you go to pending management try to refresh now you can see cl2 is there okay so now you have to manually approve it if you want to reject if you think that this is not your machine you can uh, uh, reject it or if you want to monitor it you can just click on approve once it is approved it will now show in the agent managed okay so you can see cl1 is showing as healthy but it is showing as not monitor right now so actually it takes a while i hope you have learned how to install the agent remotely as well as manually on the server or client the process is same for the server as well so if you want i can show you for the server 
so once again you have to go to discovery wizard select windows computers select next you can choose both as well no problem so here we have to provide the query so i want any computer in the active directory now click on next so now the discovered discovered agent will not shown over here okay that is already discovered so i want to install my agent on sql server click on next and finish so it is started and then once it is done it will show under agent managed okay so i will skip my video once again and i will show you at the end okay so let's go to sql server and see what is going on go to this com server what is the status so it is still installing wait for a minute okay so task has been completed let's go to the sql server and let's see it is installed so now you can see system center agent is installed so now you, everything is in healthy state okay so in this video we have installed agent on cl1 remotely and on cl2 manually and sql server remotely i hope you have understood the installation of agent thank you for watching we will meet in the next video bye